With the recent release of Ezra Hodden, we can finally complete a topic we've long wondered about. What is the full lineage of the heir of Navron, aka the line of emperors? But be warned, this topic does contain some huge spoilers for the Legend series, Rise and Fall series, and Raiera Revelation series. Now, before we get started, let's talk about the elephant in the room. In the video I created two years ago, I came up with this masterpiece, which I felt pretty good about at the time, and as we now know, is incredibly wrong. But let's talk about why it was wrong. Prior to Ezra Hodden, we heavily leaned on this passage from Heir of Navron that stated that there were 12 coffins in the royal tomb. So with this knowledge that there were 12 coffins for the emperors, plus the first emperor Nephron who had his own special tomb, the thinking was that Nerion, who was the emperor at the time that the empire collapsed, would have to be the 14th emperor. But with Ezra Hodden, we got this section which changed everything. The prince pointed across the room at another door. Over there are the emperor's tombs. That's where all the rulers are, lying on shelves in fancy stone boxes. There are 12 boxes, but only six have occupants. But while this proves our past predictions very wrong, it gives us the final piece of information we need to finally complete our list of emperors. So, without further ado and no longer needing any guesswork, let's go through the full lineage of emperors. The first emperor is of course Nephron himself. Born the son of Zephron in 876 BN, he would go on to lead the uprising in the Legend series, culminating in him becoming the first emperor of the world during year zero. Though before he became emperor in the year 6 BN, he and Persephone, the leader of the humans, had a son named Nolan. We then go on to the Rise and Fall series and the first book Nolan, where we see Nephron is killed in 850 due to Mwandele's plot. But Nolan and Zephyrin manage to spoil Mwandele's plans and Nolan becomes emperor. Nolan would go on to marry Zephyrin, who was Moya and Tek Chin's daughter. Nolan and Zephyrin actually already had a son named Nergia, born that same year. Nergia would marry Calopia, who Zephyrin really liked, and they had a son whom they would name Estermon in 981. Nolan would go on to rule for 350 years before dying to a fever in the year 1200, making Nergia emperor. Estermon would then have a son whom he would name Estermon II in 1205, and Estermon II would go on to have a son Nerian in 1389. It is at this point that we start to see the emperor's reigns become shorter. Nergia, who is a great-grandfather at this point, would be murdered in 1534, once again in a plot by Moandale. Nerian, who had married Lydia, then had a twin boy and girl, Nordian and Feralane. Estermon I would rule for 173 years, reverting the empire back to the days of Nephron in that reading and magic would be outlawed. He would then die in 1707 and Estermon II took over, continuing to rule similarly to his father. Ironically, Estermon II would also rule for 173 years before dying in 1880, once again due to Mwandele making Nerian emperor. And as a side note, I'm beginning to think Mwandele isn't the hero in these stories. 20 years later, Nordian would have a son, Nerian. And then Nerian would die, making Nordian emperor. After Nordian's death, Nerian becomes emperor. He would marry Amethyst, and they would have a son, Nevrik, and daughter, Fenquilla. It is during Nerian's reign that the novel Ezra Hodden takes place. Nerian dies at the collapse of the empire in year 2124, and Nevrik escapes with Jarek. At this point, we know that Nevrik manages to evade capture and start a family, continuing the royal line, but we don't know how many generations occur. Hey, it's me from the future. So literally five days before this video was set to go live, we got a big update. 
which is that we now do know how many generations occur. After Nevrik, there were two unknown, unnamed heirs. The first lived during the Glenmorgan reign, and the second was alive as the monarchies were forming in Avon. All right, let's get back into it. But eventually, it leads us to Naron Brown, who marries Linitha, and in 2952, they meet an untimely death, the newborn, Royce, being the only surviving family member. Royce then also has a daughter with Gwen named Mercedes, which takes us up all the way through the end of Revelations, thus completing the royal line of the Nephronian Empire. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe and watch my other videos to learn more about the world of Alon and Rhaeira. Thanks!